Looks crazy right now, but there's a method to the madness. Or is there some madness to the method? <laughs> In theory, this is going to be a toilet paper holder. I'm not sure if it'll work because I don't use toilet paper. I use the three seashells. Name that movie. Just like an artist, I am drawing. Except I drew my drawing with a hammer. <laughs> about that piece right there. I kind of got it a little thin. Hopefully it works out. Okay, there's cracks forming right here, so I think that this toilet paper holder will not have a leaf on it. Yep, there it went. This is really being drawn out. <laughs> Thank you.
probably about long enough for a toilet paper holder, I reckon. to do <laughs> is uh mysterious is uh I'm gonna flatten out a spot for the screws to go into the wall and Ooh. got an idea got an idea hang tight hold on All right, National Geographic nerds, what animal does this sound like? I say an injury. Not an injury like, oh, my arm, just like Madagascar. It's a kind of, kind of lemur, call it an injury. Makes that sound. <laughs> All right, no forcing around. Back to the matters at hand. <laughs> there it was again. <laughs> Brought it back. This tool right here is called a guillotine fuller or fullering tool. Or just a guillotine. Whatever. It's handy. This time, that was on purpose.
I believe this leaf is beginning to bud or is about to bud about to foliate it's gonna go from a lump into a leaf shaped object hammer it is.
shape of a leaf. So now we're gonna put some leaf lines in it. giving it some eh, is, for all intents and purposes, a leaf. Okay, now. I think it will look cool, I promise.
Alright, I'm back. Uh, so my phone died, so I couldn't film the rest of uh, the toilet paper holder thing. But here it is, all finished. All covered in beeswax. Close up. Drilled a hole, made this hole a little bit bigger. The hammered texture. And the leaf. This is probably one of the best leaves I've ever done. I think so anyway. This was a fun project since I'm a full-time bladesmith. I don't often get a chance to do make stuff, make things like this. But I think that being a good blacksmith makes an even better bladesmith. That's just my thoughts on it. But it, it sits on the wall straight and toilet paper roll Ooh, fits and so what's going to happen is I'll probably wind up putting it mounting it at a slight angle like that just a little bit but see this the leaps there it's not going to allow the toilet paper just to slide off because like I said earlier when you pull that toilet paper you don't want it to fly off and, oh! And then you gotta do that waddle to go catch it. That's no fun. <laughs> so there's that. Alright. Well everyone, thanks for sticking around and watching me forge this and putting up with all my shenanigans. Hope you had as much fun as I did. <laughs>